Why Aswe Igodalo should withdraw from Edo governorship race? Okpa Ibalo speaks. Candidate of the All Progressive Congress APC in the 21st September governorship election in Edo State, Senator Monday Okpebolo has advised the flag bearer of the People's Democratic Party, Aswe Godalo, to withdraw from the race over alleged failure of the outgoing governor, Guadino Basaki's administration. Okpebolo stated this on Tuesday in Benin at a meeting with the Edo State chapter of the Yaw Farmers Association of Nigeria, AFAN. According to him, the PDP governorship candidate rules as economic advisor to Godwin Obasaki led government. He plunged the state into huge debt, for which he has no moral right to aspire to be governor. He said, and I quote, A sad story of the outgoing government is that the man that has failed Edo State is bringing somebody who was his economic advisor. I told myself that if I was a barrister as well, Godalo, I would not bother myself to contest the governorship election because a government that I am in, that I am its economic advisor has failed. Where I came from, which is Esa land, we were taught to moral and anything that is bad or sport, we do not eat. The All Progressive Congress governorship candidate noted that the debt profile of a state rose to over 573 billion naira from the inherited 43 billion naira from the last administration. This is even as he bemoaned that what he described as unprecedented rate of stealing in the obasaki led government. He therefore advised Edo people not to allow the stealing to continue with Obasaki's third term agenda through Igodalo. In Edo State, do you know the debt profile of a state at the moment is over 573 billion naira? That is what Edo State is owing now. During Adam Soshomele's period, Monthly allocation from the Federation account was between 3.1 billion naira and 3.3 billion naira. But today, the allocation is over 11.1 billion naira and nothing to show for it. The outgoing government, which Aswe Godalo was the chief economic advisor, only inherited about 43 billion naira debt from Adam Soishomale, Lucky Igbenedion, and Prof. Osemen Osumbo government. When Oshomale was receiving between 3.1 billion and 3.3 billion naira, work was going on in the state, but with over 11 billion naira, Governor Basaki has nothing to show for it. Now they see what's in the happen. Are you people seeing what is going on? I don't know why these people, they are not smart. You see politicians, hi. If they pay me, they are not smart. You are coming out to con to sell yourself as a candidate, and the only thing you can come up with is this man. He has nothing to offer you. Are you even supposed to come out and mention the name of your opponent? Are you supposed to come outside and mention uh, my candidate, so 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 person? This won't happen. No, you are not. You're not supposed to open your mouth. Monday one is Obak is Obak Obaseki contesting two. Obaseki was APC four years as a governor. Who brought Obaseki to power? You understand how everything happens? Is Edo State not state? Is Edo State not under Nigeria? You forget say Buhari and Turunbuna APC and you're still talking about that party. Talk. This Momo APC candidate does not understand this economy at all. 3 billion of yesterday is more than 20 billion of today. I wonder why APC will feed an illiterate as a governorship election. Aspirants, rather. And the thing is, I was going to say this. That's money where they recall 3.3 billion. That 11 billion, eh, that 3.3 billion, it was more than that 11 billion. I did tell you. I did tell you. All right. Who are you to tell them to withdraw from the governorship uh, race simply because public debates you could not attend? APC candidates are full of arrogancy. Not only arrogancy, you then get them another thing too, then get them. What if they tell you that the 11 billion of today is less than 3 billion of 10 years ago? That's exactly what I was saying. How come you didn't know that your people have grossly devalued Naira through removal of subsidy and Naira flotation? Your understanding of economics do not reach that level, Abi. All our savings from five years ago have been developed through lazy policies of your men at the top. You nailed it. Even illiterates know that the value of 11 billion as of today 
is so worthless compared to the value of 3 billion naira 10 years ago. 10 years ago, rather. So it is very clear that such an unschooled fellow, obviously worse than an illiterate in economic matters, would definitely be bamboozled, tossed to and fro by APC criminals, party leaders, and eventually aides. If he happens to become governor, even at the Senate, he is a minus one, like some Abuki senators. So, sorry, I am not from Edo State, but APC. All right. This is the same candidate who is avoiding debates, even with candidates of less known political parties. I laugh with one corner of my mouth. He has the audacity to come online and be spilling rubbish. When Oshomole was borrowing money left and right, where were you? We, Edo, we are not fools. Asui Godalo is the answer. PDP, progress. How is that your business? Face your party. Papa Wale should step down. We, do, we do need a governor that can speak English language. All right. Instead of criticism, why not come out, tell the people of Edo State your manifesto, come and tell us broken English so you will not steal when you get to Osadebe Avenue. Yeah, yeah, people. Oshomele did not steal when he was governor. How about Shwaibo? Politicians, instead of you to remain in the Senate, and be new, you want to be governor only. It's more only. <laughs> All right. You do not need to withdraw from the race face or lean on your lane so that people will meet on so that you people will meet on the election day. Since Obaseki became a state governor, no pensioner ever snort, collapsed, or died on queue. Worker salary is regular. Road construction and renovation are ongoing. Okwabela should tell Edo State people your mission and vision instead of attacking Obaseki and Igodalo. In fact, hardship and hunger is caused by the APC president. That is why me, I'm going to tell us to do what's make on make sure Edo State people, pig person, we will give a piece of mind. Pig person, we will see. <laughs> hey. She's no longer, it's no longer, it's no longer business as usual. All right, you know this, even illiterates know what the value of, okay, I think I've said that before. Whatever be the case, yeah, it does take people making a mixture in a peak better person. All right. All right, this whole situation, eh? <laughs> This man will get right to come as I come the end this thing now. If you won't even come as I come market yourself, you will market yourself based on waiting. You understand? I say it's supposed to be all right on this note. You've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>